Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap, and this is the brand new Infinix Zero X Pro. And as you might be able to tell, this is not my usual studio. In fact, I've come with Infinix to the Royal Observatory here in Greenwich, London, home of, well, time, with Greenwich Mean Time, which has acted as a reference for all other times around the world, and also a bloody great big telescope. Although this one is more of a museum piece now, this is what they actually use, much smaller and more modern. And so here's a picture of our lovely moon, and another, and I'm sure you'll agree they're pretty decent, especially as it was taken on this. Not a fancy telescope, handheld, no edits, taken in central London with up to a 60x zoom in this super moon camera mode, and it costs around $319, plus it fits in your pocket. Okay, to be fair, the telescopes at the observatory are maybe a touch better, and also a big thank you to Dr. Emily drabek Monda, expert astronomer from the observatory who showed me around and put up with my stupid questions. I call myself the tech chap, but I wouldn't, this is like... Well, so this is the Annie Monder Astrographic Telescope, okay. or AMAP for short. This particular 14-inch telescope, it gives us a high-resolution view of um, solar system objects like the moon, sun, and planets. But the point is, even if it's not something you'd use all the time, it is pretty cool to have this capability in a phone, and particularly one that's this affordable. Okay, let's bring this back to Earth, and this is the Zero X Pro. It's Infinix's flagship in the new Zero X range, and while it's not currently planned to be released here in the UK, sadly, you will be able to buy it internationally for about $320. I really do hope they properly launch these soon here in the UK as they're incredible value for money. Specs wise, we have a big full HD plus 120Hz AMOLED screen, and it's nice to have both the high refresh and the AMOLED on a phone in this price range. Around the back, we have a triple camera setup with a 108 megapixel main lens, an ultra wide, and a telephoto with a 5x optical zoom. We do get a headphone jack, which is great to see, and it also supports dual SIM and a micro SD card to expand the storage. The only downside is we don't get 5G support. There's this little hole punch cutout for the selfie camera, and also for unlocking, we have an in screen fingerprint reader, and you've also got face unlocking. There's definitely a theme here, I think, uh, because I've got the Zero X Pro in Nebula Black, which has a sparkly night sky design on the back, kind of like the Milky Way Galaxy. It's usually pretty subtle, but in the right lighting, it really can pop. And it kind of feels like you're holding a galaxy in your hands. Now on the inside, we have a MediaTek Helio G95, which is definitely more of a mid-range chip, but it handled everything I threw at it. That's paired with eight gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. And finally, powering everything, we have a good size 4,500 milliamp hour battery, plus we have that fast 45 watt charger bundled in the box. So it's a pretty good all rounder. And actually, Android 11 with Infinix's XOS software on top is nice and fast. There's a decent amount of customization and extra functions to play with. And I actually really like this smart panel menu that you can swipe in uh, from either side for your most used apps and functions. Now, personally, I prefer having the Google News feed left of my home screen, but this Zero screen has some pretty handy widgets and feeds. It's also par for the course that there's a fair few pre installed apps, but you can, of course, just hide or remove the ones that you don't want. Okay, let's talk about this camera, because this is usually where we see more affordable phones really fall down, but in my experience over the past couple of weeks with this, I've been genuinely impressed with how good it is. You've got the 06 times ultra-wide, the main lens, and then the 5 times telephoto, which you can digitally punch in up to 60 times. There's a whole bunch of other modes as well, including this short video mode for 15 second clips with a variety of filters and so on, maybe one for the kids. AI cam is your default photo mode uh, and has seen and object recognition, plus you can shoot in the full 108 megapixels if you do want the highest resolution. I also quite like that beauty is its own separate mode, uh, so I don't have to turn all that off in the main camera mode. Super Night does a really good job in low light scenes with longer exposures, and as you can see, side by side it makes a world of difference versus a regular photo. But wait, there's more, because if you swipe up, there's tons of other options here, uh, but certainly one of the most eye-catching is Supermoon. And you can go from five to 60 times zoom, and then this little reticule will go green when it's locked on, and you can snap a surprisingly good lunar photo.
you'd struggle to get this quality on most phones. Perhaps something like the Galaxy S21 Ultra could give it some competition, but that's also five times the price. Up front, we have an 8 megapixel selfie camera. I wouldn't say it's anything to write home about, but in good light, it does a decent job. And finally, video tops out at 4K30, and detail and dynamic range is solid, but as you can see, it is a little bit shaky, and surprisingly, dropping down to 1080p doesn't make that much difference to it, although this is filmed with pre-release camera software, so updates may improve things. So overall, I think the Infinix Zero X Pro is a properly good all-round phone. I know that's a bit of a cliche term, but this does do everything you need. I mean, it looks good, it's fast enough, has surprisingly good cameras, a lovely 120Hz AMOLED screen, a headphone jack, don't forget, and even if you aren't bothered about moonshots, for $320 or so, I think it's incredible value for money. If they could have added one of MediaTek's newer Dimensity chips with 5G support, maybe a second speaker and slightly more stabilized video, that would have been ideal of course, but at this price point it is all about balance. Here's a challenge for you though, next time you have a clear night sky, take the best moonshot you can with your current phone and let me know how it turns out in the comments, or you can tag me on Twitter at the tech chap and see if you can take a better photo than this. But what do you think of the Zero X Pro? Would you be tempted to buy it? Let me know in the comments below. And again, a huge thank you to Infinix and the Royal Observatory Greenwich for helping make this video happen. Cheers for watching, guys. I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Chap and probably back at the studio. This must be fun. Do you ever just come up here and just play? Absolutely. I mean, you know, it's just one of those things when it is a clear day, which, you know, a lot of times in London, we don't have many clear days. <laughs> no, you've chosen a terrible place for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, we just uh, open it up and, and try to observe what we can when we can. So. Oh, it's amazing. It's incredible.